The Oculus Quest is about to be the best damn VR headset you can pick up, and basically, I'm a stupid dumb idiot. I just got done watching a quick recap of the Oculus presentation, I'll link it in the description because we're only going to really cover the stuff that addresses my previous points made in my last video, but I am both extremely excited for my quest and very embarrassed for the last video I put out. I don't write scripts for these videos, and I feel like a lot of the negative perception I got on that video was partially brought from the way I presented myself. From the very first Oculus Quest video I made, I feel like this is the direction VR needed to go in. And Oculus did a great job of bringing that hardware to the table, but basically the point I was trying to make in that previous video was that for a $400 headset, I just felt like I wasn't getting the best experience out of it with the content on offer. The actual tech and tracking on the Quest completely blows PSVR and a lot of other headsets out of the water. But for me, I just wasn't enjoying the games on offer. But from the perspective of somebody with a high-end PC, one of my biggest complaints was that you couldn't really use it as a PC VR headset. Outside of streaming, I know you can stream, but that's not something I really wanted to do. But now in the words of Mark Zuckerberg, your quest is basically a rift now too. The quest is basically going to double as a rift because Oculus is going to be bringing native PC support to the quest via USB type C. And I think this is fantastic. I can finally have my cake and eat it too. I can have those great wireless quest experiences while having support to my PC. And that is awesome because one of my complaints was that I usually don't take advantage of the wireless connectivity of the quest. I usually just use it around my room and this will allow me to get the best of both worlds basically. I can get all that amazing PC content while also getting some of the wireless freedom that the Quest content brings. You're now going to be able to run all the Rift content on your Quest. Also as a completely unexpected bonus they're going to be bringing full hand tracking to the Oculus Quest early next year. What? I know the Quest has cameras on it but I didn't actually expect to even be able to do something like this on the Quest. But yet here we are getting an incredible new feature I wouldn't even expect to see on this damn platform. We can set the controllers down. We don't even need those things. We can just use our hands now? Of course, actual software and games are going to have to support this, but this is extremely cool. They also talked about face tracking and some mixed reality stuff, which is just kind of mind-blowing to think about. But the fact that they're bringing native PC support through USB Type-C, no streaming, and hand tracking just completely blew my mind. My only question is where is this going to leave the Rift S? It makes it feel more like a placeholder to me, because what would be the point of picking up a Rift S now? For the same price, you get the wireless freedom that the Quest offers, and you also get a full-on PC VR headset, albeit a little heavier headset than the Rift S, but who cares when you're getting all that functionality? You're essentially getting two VR headsets in one. You're getting an incredible value for the money, and now you'll be able to basically play whatever you want on the Quest, so my last video is so pointless now, man. You're getting an incredible value with a ton of new features that I wasn't expecting, and you're also getting PC VR games. What else could you ask for? We'll have to wait till they actually drop the PC support and the hand tracking to see how it actually works in practice, but I have a good feeling about it. If we could figure out how to make these games work via streaming, there's no way that we're going to have a problem with a tethered experience. I'm super excited that I can use my Quest as a PC VR headset now. I don't have to go out and drop another four, five, six hundred dollars on a headset just to play games on my PC. That is so sweet. Oh, by the way, I mentioned Vader Immortal in my last video. There's episode two now coming. I don't know too much about the other games on offer. I've been really busy and I haven't had a chance to get all into details with the presentation and games and whatnot, but this whole presentation just made my mindset of the quest do a complete 180. I am stupid excited. By the way, big shout out to Brady for dropping that $50 donation on the Patreon to go towards a $200 futon. But to be honest with you, I have something within the budget that I was going to put towards a video and I am very thankful for that. That's going to help out a lot. Thank you, Brady. We're going to take a look at how the quest actually performs with PC games in the future when they finally drop that update. But for now, stay tuned. Maybe check out my other VR content and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. It's been C. I'm out.